Hello, I owe Ace Magic an updated video for their F3A, just because I did such a terrible job of trying to open this machine from the bottom where I was not supposed to, so I've reassembled it. This is a quick look around, front I.O., you got the USB-A on the front, audio jack, reset button underneath, if you ever need to reset the BIOS, you just disconnect power and everything, press a paper clip into there, hold for 30 seconds. USB 4, that's useful to have in the front, and another one on the rear. So this is fantastic to see. Not a lot of Ace Magic machines have two USB 4 ports. This is a good trend I want to see more of. We've got the HDMI, display port, two LAN ports, more USB A, great. There's no USB 2.0 here, so it's good progress to see. Another audio jack and a standard 5.5 by 2.5 millimeter barrel jack, Kensington lock, and well, relatively good size heatsink, and more testing information to come up later, but I wanted to just show around the machine best I could. There is a secondary fan for this mini PC, which is super important for DDR5 and Gen 4 SSDs, and opening this machine, there is a screw back here that's preventing this flip switch from moving. So that is the only screw that needs to be removed to get started accessing the inside of the machine. And I kind of understand why someone might want to choose to put this retaining screw there, but is it actually going to come out now? Come on. Come on. It's coming out. There we go. Just needed to nudge it out. All right. So all there is to open this lid, you just flip the switch, and it tilts out. Fantastic. And it's all hinged nice and neat like that. This could have also been done with magnets, but I think having the physical plastic retaining clips is a little bit more secure, and I don't like having a ton of magnets inside a computer anyway. But food for thought, I like this kind of trend. Instead of having a bunch of screws to disassemble, it it's what I'm used to, but this works. Very clean on the inside of the machine. Just going to go ahead and remove the four screws here. So we can have a look inside. And the really important thing about the Ace Magic F3A here, and it has an HX370 processor, but almost every mini PC and laptop has LPDDR5 RAM. This is soldered RAM, it's not a RAM module. So I am really thrilled to see that Ace Magic has put physical modules in there. So what's there is 32 gigabytes of RAM. This is just half of that, 16 gigabytes. And this could hypothetically be upgraded to 96 gigabytes or even with 128 gigabytes now that those modules are being sold. It's terribly expensive at the moment, but I expect the price to go down over time, just like all RAM modules do. And this is just really convenient to have. If you have RAM modules and you're looking to just put it into a new machine, I hope Ace Magic goes around selling these bare bones. It is an option listed on their box. And otherwise, I'm just thrilled. First to the market with RAM modules, it was not impossible to do, and this was good progress to see for the mini PC community to have this kind of variety. So now i got to take a bunch of pictures and post that everywhere. All right, thank you so much for everybody for taking the time to listen to this, and I hope this does this very, very compact machine that could hold a lot of RAM uh, some justice after I brutally tried tearing it apart from the wrong way. Yeah, well, have a good day. Bye-bye.